there ain't nobody to see that. Like, you know, that you're, that you're getting into the soil and where they at. So I'm going to be that person to call and tell you, you you're doing good, baby. Thank, okay? Thank you. And you just, you just keep on, like I said, you're in your own lane. Thank and you. And you're in your own lane like that. It's so fun. Cause ain't nobody in there with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I, ain't nobody in there I, with you. You yes, know what I'm saying? And yes. you find them trying to swerve over there because you the fast lane, so you're gonna slow down. Oh yeah. no, uh, 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 you know, uh, you are left hand side. Well, thank you, sister. You're a thank, thank you, thank uh, you. No, no, no. Go, you are go. in the fast lane, right? In the highway patrol, gotta catch you. Thank you. Well, you thank you, so, honey. Thank you I'm, for coming. I'm gonna let you go and get these other calls. Thank, thank you so and much. I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna see some ships too. And they're gonna be gonna fly out of this. So when you see that music, the two Cs, M I C C E Y. Oh, oh, oh. oh M I C C E Y. Yes, ma'am. I ain't no character. I'm gonna take that character out of here. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. When you see that, you just give me a shout out, okay? Okay, I'm gonna give you a shout out. Send it to me, baby. I'm gonna give you a shout out. Okay, okay sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, make Bye -bye. me laugh. Make daddy laugh. All right. <laughs> I'll be waiting for your donation, baby. Okay, baby. Take care. All right, you too. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta turn your deep voice on for that. <sighs> She's a talker. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Three zero nine two call you there. Three zero nine two. Hello, last four, three zero nine two. 615, you live on air. 3092, hello. <laughs> okay, um, let me go to the next one. 4536, you live on air. Yes, I'm trying to sit up here and listen. This how to get me a damn headache. <laughs> God bless you and your Lucas and everything you go through. God damn. <laughs> What's up with you? You in the news and the blogs and dragging Megan, got Megan upset. No, what's up with you? <laughs> um, I'm sitting up minding my business as I always do. And somebody hit me up because they claim to know the guy that Megan used to date. And so they hit me up and I go look into it. Certain things were checking out that made it plausible that he could be the guy that Megan was referencing when she talked about the domestic violence case that she had. So um, I definitely reached out to him and I did some fact checking. I presented the information and I made it very clear. You know what I'm saying? I don't know for sure what's going on. I would have to talk to him and do an interview to get the answers, you know, that we all want. But this is what he said, and he is giving off the impression that he's talking about Megan. You know, before he spoke with Megan, he was singing one tune, and he absolutely implied that it was Megan the Stallion. I don't know who would be interested in an everyday girl. You know, I don't know. He said certain things like, y'all heard one side of the story. When do we hear that? Like, you absolutely would be inclined to believe that it was Megan. I sent him a very direct voice note. I told him exactly what my intentions were, and I referenced that incident. So he knew and he asked for the phone number so that we could conduct that interview. And so, um, like I said, before he spoke with Megan, he was talking one way. I did the exclusive and then um, Megan actually went live and she was upset. And so she actually, you can hear her saying, you started all of this with the lies that you told. But she turned around and looked at that camera and she blamed me. And I don't appreciate that. She threw me under the bus knowing that I had every reason to believe it. I had the same reason to believe it that the person who sent her that screenshot did. 
I had the same reason to believe that she did when she called them to ask, why did you say that about me? So don't try to act like you yourself didn't think he was talking about you. And then come to find out, because I've been speaking with him on and off all day, come to find out his story has changed. Megan originally said that he was talking about another ex who coincidentally was named Megan. When it turns out, he says he was talking about a local news source. So would Megan like to go back live and explain? You know, I did a very detailed video where I showed we do content, but why do black people get, you know, called obsessed? People Magazine, TMZ, Variety, everyone else, how many times have they published a headline with a particular person's name in it? They don't say a word. But us on YouTube who do our videos and we produce the news, we get called obsessed. You know, everybody wants to come, you know, for the black people putting out content. I'm trying to understand what the issue is. We're doing our job. We have audiences that want particular content. They send us tips. Ain't nobody stalking you. I want the same way people see y'all shit, they send us shit. I'll send you $20, Wiley. The same way they send us shit, uh, send it to y'all, they send it to us. We go and we look into it and then we present the information. I absolutely extended the courtesy of having enough of integrity to say, I don't know for sure. I don't. And I'm going to show you exactly why I think what I think. But I, I definitely did not appreciate Megan getting up to acting like I lied on her. That's a complete lie. And she ain't doing shit. Mm. And as far as um him, Karim, he's a fucking clown. He's trash. He's a broke down ass Aladdin. He, want, he wants attention. He knows what he's doing. I tried, I had to go off on his ass, then receipts on my Twitter. But I, I sent it to you via DM. I had to, and you can play it. I had to go off on his ass because he wanted to try to pull the black man card. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Black man, my ass. This is scheme. You got up here and you know what you did. Don't try to make me look crazy. That's the same thing Supercent did when she, when her nigga got busted. Oh, it was a setup. Nah, ain't no motherfucking setup. He thought he was talking to a 17 year old. They always try to use the blogger as a scapegoat. Nah, I'm just the one that's not scared to show the shit and talk about it. Everybody want to pick it up after the fact, after somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That's trash. I don't fuck with that. So we got all the facts, all the receipts, everything made out on Mob Radio. Shout out to everybody that showed Mob Radio. I want to say be blessed to people who felt like they needed to black out my logo and plaster theirs on top of it. What? Who did be that? Blessed. Who did um, who? Let, let me tell you something. It, it's just too much going on out here. Too much going on out here. Be the difference that you want to see. That's what? That's how I feel about that. They blotted and out I, your logo? Wow, that's crazy. I'll send you that receipt as well. Yes, Armand did. Shout out to Armand for having over 5,000 people in his chat. But he, he definitely did show my what? receipt and literally blurt. He put a black space, black marker over my logo. <laughs> oh my God. And, and let, let me be very clear. I'm going to send you all these receipts. Right? <laughs> let me be very clear. If, if Armand got a problem with on site posting the write up and giving me credit and setting him for that story, they don't have nothing to do with me. I showed the receipt where I sent it in a particular way and I gave you credit. How it came out is a different thing. On site ain't my blog. So, like I said when I did that video and I showed the receipt, the, the shit that's been said that comes up against Riley, that, that has that, that, that tone, that creates that tone, but shit like that happens, they don't have nothing to do with me. All I can do is do my part. Hell no. That's bullshit. But like I said, be the change you want to see. They talking about why I don't fuck with you. He don't have to. At, at the end of the day, don't sit up and whine about not getting credit and then don't be the one that... Uh, I don't understand you know that. I don't understand that. Why would he do something like that? Because... You got to be he, the change that you want right, to see. Right, because he do be saying, he do get upset when people don't credit him. Yeah, like, I, I, why would you do that? Just give credit. Because he do call you, I'm being messy, he called you Laverne intern. But you have proven that you a boss, that you're not an intern, and that you got the number one show for weeks. So c congratulations. But I don't yeah, know why we, we do that. You. We have the number one show on Station Head. Shout out to everybody on Station Head. Uh, go look at all the reports. Go go look at what's going on. Go look at everything. You tell me, Wally, all of the major stories that have been broken in 2020 that's been keeping this quarantine going, where they came from. They came, let's yeah, they came to you. Yes. Video. You already have been doing it. And what gets that's me. I, I don't understand. I I I don't know why would he do that? Cause that that like that's crazy. Cause he don't want to give you credit. Why do you think that is? It's because he friends with Candace. With me. Okay. You don't have to fuck with nobody to do what you. You got to be able to do your job. It's business, not personal. Armand don't fuck with me. That's fine. That's fine. This your work. 
show that you won't take it personal and that you'll be professional. Absolutely. To be professional, you show where you got those stores. Shout out to Impresso, yeah. who shouted out my radio. It's just about giving credit what credit is due. Nothing more, nothing less. So you don't have to be friends to do that. You Impressive be, did give you credit, and she got a million that. subscribers. And what gets me with people, they yeah. preach and they be like, give me my respect. But then when you when a story comes for you to do it, you don't do it. So don't come up here preaching to everybody when you don't hold up to those principles, when you don't live up to those principles. Because he could have easily gave you credit. I saw that on site gave you credit. I saw with my own eyes. I seen the impressive thing. Shout out to her. I'm like, why would he do that? I'm like, that's crazy. Wallet, if, if everybody would go back to the field, I said it myself. I said they are wrong. I said on site posted this and this is incorrect information because this wasn't my story. So I got up on my platform and I said what I said. And when I sent the shit in from my behalf, it had his face and everything. So that all of that is extra. And like I said, that don't have nothing to do with me. Like just be the change that you want to see. Be the change that you want to see. That's how I feel about that. And I'm gonna send you out this receipt that I'm talking about. Um and then uh, your topic actually is somebody said stay on topic. This fuck you. Your topic says Cardi B is divorcing offset. And what I want to say is that you know that's unfortunate, truly. And Wiley, you have been very vocal. That's why we got in school right because yeah. you said, Oh, she over there tripping. She might need to take a break because she said Cardi ain't married. Like Cardi is married, remember? That's yeah, how I remember you felt. That. And I respect that you stood on your own ten toes. And you said that is how I feel. Now let's speak on it. I had to do a live today and I had to come back and say, I said, produce the receipt. Fulton County got the receipts that show that they're getting a divorce. You can't get divorced if you're not married. So, regardless of what I felt like I saw, regardless of what that made me believe, the fact of the matter is, she has to be married to be able to get divorced. So, that would make that theory wrong. So I had to come up and say, I'm sorry for any strife I could have caused by anybody coming behind me, repeating something that I put into the atmosphere. I, I'm not sorry for being inquisitive. I'm not sorry for digging deeper. I'm not sorry for looking at things and asking, well, what about this? No, I'm not sorry. But I will absolutely be accountable for even breathing life into something that turns out was not true. Mm. And so you had spotlighted that. So I want to speak on well, that. Thank you. I, so I, 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 I love, I understand yeah. business to the point that we have a disagreement, we have a disagreement, but I will always credit you for what you had accomplished because I don't like it when, that's why I respect you because you do give credit to other blogs, whatever you hear, even that story about Jay-Z daughter, remember that? You gave credits. Oh, she reached out to mm -hmm. Wiley, wanted to pay, and I love that. And these other bloggers, they sit on these platforms and they be all high and mighty, but then when it, but they don't want to credit these other blogs. I just, but then if they don't get credit, they get on a platform and they cry about it and they they want some sympathy. But then when it's their time to show that, like you said, to be that change you want to see, they don't do it. They blot your whole logo out of there. And I'm like, girl, impressive did it. She got a million followers. And so what that say about you? And she ain't deterred by it. She talked about what the story, who broke the story. And Milago Grant broke the story. It is what it is. But it's hard to do right, that, though, when you're saying, when you're calling you Laverne, it's, it's hard to do that, though, when you up there telling your audience, with well, this Laverne intern, she ain't nothing, da 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 That, that's, you painted that picture. So it's kind of hard for you to come out and give somebody credit that you didn't dog week after week. It only take a real man to really do that. So you know what she's actually doing? And it's okay, because you actually break the stories. I mean, celebrities are responding to you. Right. Cardi, right. Megan, I mean, so and many others. Like when, when the people send it to me, and I'm, I'm seeing it, um, and Armand has to be able to acknowledge it. When I peek in, I saw it. Like I said, that's how I know how many people are alive. Shout out to him. That's amazing. Um, he was talking about the situation with Shia Lamore. I did an interview with Shia Lamore. He spoke on offset hiding the phone. I broke that story. Yes, you did. So you can't act like I'm not out here fucking it up and doing my shit. You know, that no. So I'm, I'm sending you receipts now. Um, oh, I see it. I see he, he slapped his whole logo. He slapped his whole logo over these people. <laughs> I want to know, did his friend um, Candace tell him to do stuff like that? Because Candace don't do stuff like that. I'm just saying. I want to know, did his friend say that? I'm going to have to call Candace uh, after the show. Did you did you I tell him to do that? Because that ain't no integrity if you really want to be a because Candace don't do that. Candace give credit to whatever she see. I've never no, seen her I, blot out nobody. I'm just saying, no, I never I, see Candace. I, I don't know. Or impressive. They don't do that. I, I don't, I, you know what? People, 
people do what they want to do. I can't say that, you know, anybody else had anything to do with it. You know, it was his platform. He got the final right. say so in terms of what goes on on his show. And he presented that information. So however it happened, all I'm saying is, if you want to, you know, be able to um, have a leg to stand on when you're saying, hey, speak my name, you have to be that change. And I, so when I'm sitting up here saying, okay, say something, like don't cross it out if you want to use the story. I'm saying, say, and, and they can't, can't save you being bitter. You, you. you telling the truth. You worked hard for that. And I'm just saying, and I'm saying he got his big black logo, blotted you out and smacked his logo on there like that's his exclusive. No, that ain't your exclusive. Because Impressive got a million. You know, your your friend, she just reached 500000 But Impressive got a million and she gave Malago Grams her credit. You got, I mean, it is what it is. So they every time I think, and this is how you get blessed. No matter how they try to suppress your talent, God always have somebody else to say, uh-uh, I got it from this sister. Every time they do it, somebody else just pops up and right. give you your credit. Because they, they can't stop Literally, a movement. I get that <laughs> they can't stop a movement. <laughs> Let me stop. They're going right. to say I'm jealous. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you know what? It's the people. And I, I don't have any head in my heart. I think it's amazing. Uh, everybody. I see your channel is growing. Shout out to you. Oh, Our mom's channel is growing. Shout out to him. You got Storm channel growing. Shout out to him. Um, that's all. So you got all the people. Candace, that's my time. You shout it out with 500,000. All, all of these content creators who are black people who are up here creating and doing a thing. Who, However, big or however small. Like I think I saw Katie talk one on one in the chat. All of the amazing people, big or small, whoever has a platform. Shout out to everybody getting up every day, coming and providing. And making people smile. You know, this has been an extra tough time. So I, I think that that's great. And I don't think that you have to necessarily like people to be able to acknowledge who they are and acknowledge their work and how dope they are and what they got going on. So me personally, I don't watch a lot of other people because I like to stay true to myself as possible. Um, but that doesn't mean you don't see numbers. That doesn't mean you don't hear people be referenced. So, um, you know, it's just good all around. It's enough love to go around. It's enough for everybody to eat. Got to everybody on station head, you know. Thank Whatever. You. Shout out to you, sister. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Hey, Chopper, shut the hell up. <laughs> this, this how you all couldn't be positive if I put a plus sign up your ass. <laughs> all you want to do is sit up and talk shit and talk down. Shut the fuck up. You want to sit up here, you want to type and yep, yep, yep. And don't nobody give a damn. Bitch, we having a positive moment right now. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is your moment. This is your time. And guess what? It's going to continue because you got the work. And the reason why people discredit you is because you're a black woman. And if you were white and had a blog, they would put respect to your name. But because you're a black woman, they always talk about, oh, she's obsessed. But TMZ does this. I never heard Megan say, oh, y'all obsessed. They was reporting stuff about her. I never hear nobody discredit people. They don't discredit these white institutions, but when a black woman does it, oh, it's an obsession. Like, no. Like, come on now. She doing a, no different than any of these other news organizations. Yeah. You ain't gonna say that about CNN or MSNBC. You, I never heard y'all say that about them, but when a black person, like, oh, you obsessed. No, you report on a story. The man said what he said, and I guess she recorded him to make him switch his story, and now he want to flip-flop, but we all know he was talking about Megan. He's, Why couldn't flipped. we hear the full recording, Wiley? Oh. Why couldn't we hear the whole thing? We only got to hear the little <laughs> well, let, let us hear the whole song talk. <laughs> like, you say, play the, play, the, play, the, play the whole clip. And why are these celebrities, when they say they unbothered, they booked it busy, but they sure be watching them blogs. Because they sure be watching. Cause they, she... they watch it. Don't you ever think that they're not watching. Like Megan said, I know who it is. She antagonizes me every day. That means you know about what videos I'm doing. Regardless of how you feel about it, that means you're aware of what I'm doing. When you're putting people's names and titles and talking about them and you got all these people, you know, uh, sending off clips and stuff, they want to know. They search their names and they want to know what you said about them. And they go and they watch. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, they do. You ain't crazy. Well, I just call Cardi B following a hate page on Instagram dedicated to me. You ain't crazy. <laughs> they they want to make you feel crazy because they got all of this shit. And and, and let me say this because I want to bring it back to the topic at hand. Second, I hate that a family you know will be broken up because yeah. that's not a good thing. You know, there's a child involved, there are feelings involved, and I truly do believe that there was love there. And so that's horrible. If you're rooting or happy uh, for someone losing a marriage, something's wrong with you. That's how I feel. Um. Regardless of that, I think that this should be a lesson 
because a lot of people have come at me. A lot of people have come at Rock. A lot of people have come at Nikki. A lot of people talking about y'all depressed, y'all jealous of her marriage, y'all jealous of what she has. And this, that, and the third. And lo and behold, we all still married. That ain't no dig. That's a fact. So she the same one that was throwing it in people's faces. I got a husband. I got this. Her fan base. I got a. She got a husband. She got a child. Y'all jealous. She's so happy. Y'all mad because they doing this and doing that. And the whole time, obviously, there were issues. So my whole thing is just make sure you pay attention to what's coming up. Everybody ain't jealous. Everybody not hating on you. When I saw I said hopping in his phone, that's what I saw. It looked suspicious. And I guess everything in the milk ain't clean. Because look at where y'all are only a few months later. But that was your best friend, right? So that's what I'm talking about. But she called us upset and haters. That's my problem. But like I said, I hate that it happened. You know, uh, she said being still married don't make people happy. But at the end of the day, baby, uh, who, who's going through litigation? Who? So at the end of the day, obviously everything wasn't all good. So obviously the rest of us aren't in that spot. That's the point. Like I said, it wasn't a big. It's just a fact. And I, the point is very relevant. I, because I, her and her fan base are good for telling somebody they jealous of her marriage. I stuff. hear you on that. So and this, anyway, this, this is, you are so right about that. And my thing is just, I just hope that she gets the help that is deserving. And it's so sad that she get to walk away embarrassed or she's going to get dragged. But my thing is this, I just hope and pray that she found somebody that, that will, will respect her and not diss her and honor her. Because I'm so tired of women definitely. getting dogged and cheated on. I mean, if you're not ready for marriage, don't say I do. You know, get with some, you know, just say you ain't ready to stop cheating. Right. You know, if you, if you can't. She's young. Yeah. She's young. He's young. They yeah. got up and felt like, let's do this on a whim. They live in a particular type of lifestyle. You know, it didn't work out. I hope that she takes the time to find out who she is now as as everyone evolves and changes as they get older as they go through things i hope that she just focuses and allows something genuine to come and find her and progress in that way and i hope that offset he does the work that he needs to do to be better for whoever else he may get into a relationship with maybe they'll take the time to work on themselves and come back together nene and greg are an example of a couple that got divorced and got remarried you know who knows so i just feel like if you're praying for a downfall to me, that's just a reflection of your own character. If you see something you comment on it, that's one thing. But I think it's horrible, you know, that a family is on the brink. And I think that anybody posting hateful messages and then sending hateful shit to her, I just think that that's ugly. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to see how we are in Houston this weekend. I would love to meet you because of what you're doing an incredible... So you're coming this weekend? I am. Yes, I'll be here this weekend. It's only a look. What, okay, just journey. DM me. I would DM you. Wow, I, I, wow, you're doing great things. And don't let that discourage you of a mob because wiping out your logo because doors gonna open up. You're gonna be on television. No, it doesn't. It's it's not, yeah. it and I think it's just petty on his part because he gets on his platform and and he gets on here and he say, "Oh, we put some respect on my name. I'm not Storm Monroe. I'm a mob." But then when you credit other ball, oh, you I'm gonna erase certain logo. Who does stuff like that? Like you know, you ain't come up with that exclusive like that. You put in hard work into your platform, and it's disheartening how people still discredit you, and that because you are a black woman. If you were Candace, daytime, tea time, I think he wouldn't have not done that. He wouldn't have even done that to Tasha K. He just done it to you because he kept crapping on you, talking about you an intern, and you got the number one show in the country. Out of thousands of shows, your show is number one. <laughs> he tried to discredit you and said, quote, uh, the reason why she had it because she's on there for hours, and you responded, no, that's not the case. It's about the most viewers that get to get the number one slot, yeah. not about how long your on station is. That that was a response to what I've been hearing. I didn't hear it said, but of course people carry bones. They told me that was said. And so that's why I put it up there just so everybody knows. It's not about time on station head. If you go on station head and you go live for three minutes, if 50,000 people show up and you beat out all the other shows, you will be number one. If you sit on there for 20 hours, but only two people showed up, you're not going to get the top spot. It has nothing to do with time and everything to do with the viewers. And that's something that I know because I'm contracted with Station Head and I've spoken to the owners. We have a relationship. And this is what was explained to me, you know, um, when going over everything. And so I can confidently relay that information to you guys and let you know that it's about the viewers and not the, uh, not the time. You know, the time is irrelevant in that case. So shout out to everybody. You know, and you don't, you don't need to be verified from YouTube or have a hundred thousand subscribers. You just gotta have a dedicated fan base that love you and support you. 
because as people look at you, you're not verified, you're not monetized, and yet your audience are there, and you've got a, a new vehicle, a BMW. But the thing about Tasha K, because she came at you, why do you think that she came at you said it's 23% interest rate? Like, I just, that was so random. I'm like, what the world? I had to go to your Instagram story, and I was like, congratulations, you got you a new vehicle. You, but be, you, you better get to an interview. Okay, <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I, I cannot say, I cannot say uh, um, why she woke up with me on her mind. That says more about her than anything else. If you don't see how obsessed she is with me, I don't know what you're looking at. Um, Tasha got up and lied on me again. She's a drunk ass liar, like I said. She got up and said, first of all, she said her SEO guy went and pulled that. Girl, you went and typed up, uh, what's that shit called? Social Blade. Social Blade, call. uh huh. You ain't got nobody in the back, bro. You typed up socialblade.com and you went and looked. I debunked everything she was talking about in 60 seconds or less, like a hot grade. The the shit got frozen at where I cut it off and made it private at, which is 27,000, which is why the numbers don't fluctuate, which is why you don't see an increase or a, de a decrease in subscriber count. And she knows that. So the question is, why did she try to manipulate her audience into thinking that that's what was up? That that shows how dumb she think y'all ass is, that she will post that shit up there, and y'all drunk ass gonna sit up there and go for it. Tasha, ah -ha, Tasha K said, ah -ha. This, this dumb ass lady don't even understand. I went live at the Ben's lot. And what does that say? How you think she feel about y'all? How, how my budget lot bitch is feeling? Because she basically saying y'all some bum ass hoes. Because she said you got it from the budget lot. Oh, congrats. What the fuck that's supposed to mean? My shit not off for the budget lot. But even if it was, I wouldn't be ashamed of my shit. So you feel ashamed of your shit? She always want to sit up and speak on motherhood and shit. How many people work? How many women work eight hours or more? Are you neglecting your kids as well? This shit is asinine. She say anything. But like I said, your child on the video saying that you don't spend no time with her. You can explain it the way you want to, but you go deal with that and worry about what you got going on. I don't know what crackhead got 23% interest rate on that motherfucking car, but it ain't M-I-L-A-G-R-O. <laughs> You, you must be drinking stupid juice and sucking donkey dick. You a damn liar and you a damn fool. And I, I don't know why in the hell you end up keeping up with every move I make. But you keep on watching like the fan you are. She's sitting up here calling me Walmart. You don't know how much money Walmart bring in. Okay. You know oh, what, what, what? No. Can you tell me what's going on with the Walmart and Target? Why do they keep calling you? What's that? Is that a read? Because Walmart is a billion dollar corporation. But why do they keep saying Walmart? Basically, Basically, you remember when Nikki did Motorsport? Yeah. And she said that, you know, that Cardi B is the QB, and I'm Nick Lombardi. She was giving a compliment. So I was talking, and I said that the shade room was like Target. And I said that the neighborhood talk too was like Walmart. That's what the hell I said. I said I'm a Target type of bitch, but people still fuck with Walmart. Ain't no wrong with Walmart. This, they just took offense to it. Cowed and punched the wall. Tasha over there, her hair sticking straight up like that bitch didn't got static shock or some shit. Everybody I love panties in a bunch. And here she go. Weeks later. I thought you don't respond to people who don't have 800,000 subscribers. I thought you know the beat don't pay your bills. You must be late, bitch. You must have a pink notice. Because here you come. Here you come knocking on my motherfucking nose talking about uh this goddamn Walmart shit. Walmart is actually bigger than Target. Actually, so if you had half a fucking brain and you hadn't killed all your brain cells with that cheap ass wine, you would have been able to look up and see that the shit wasn't even really a dig. Everybody don't like Walmart, bitch. It is what it is. But she took it as it is. Now she want to call me Walmart. Miss Walmart, ho. And I go to Walmart every day, but okay. Uh, wow. Because I, I, I want to have you on the line. What was the reason, uh, a snippet of why you and Kyle got into it? Was it because of Tasha? Because y'all had got into a beef. What was the reason? No, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna put that on Tasha. Okay, that I wasn't, think, um, that wasn't because of Tasha. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got think. So, um, no, I'm, I'm not gonna put that on Tasha. Um, I think he's upset with me. I went live and I said he begged to get in Queen Radio. I think it's literally what I said. That that made him mad. You know, he didn't want nobody to do that. 
Mm. Cause I thought y'all, cause you know, he's a great guy and I think what he's done created his own company. I was like, I wish they can come in and talk because I didn't understand what was going on, but yeah. But did you talk to him and y'all try to resolve your issues? Who? Oh. You and um, Kyle. Hell no. Oh, that was Fuck it. Him. He he want he want to sit up there and act like a pussy ass hoe. He he did he can sit up there and act like a pussy ass hoe. He blocked me from the neighborhood to talk to, and he tried to call me crazy. And I sat up and I showed receipts. And every time he had his ass in my DM being friendly, stop trying to play with me like I'm crazy. But let me tell you real quick, I'm gonna go live a ride because we gotta do on site. Oh if yeah. Still live when I'm done, then I'll come fuck with you if I got time before we do the show. Oh no no go ahead go ahead I'll be listening. But thank thank you so very much. Thank you um. Uh, Thank you, Malala. All right, all right. Thank you. I'm gonna fuck with you. Thank you. Um, right. Wow, 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 wow. She came on the live. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Hello. Where is? Where are we doing right quick? Okay. Is this it? Can we do that? Wow. Because I, I really hope they, you know, because and then one thing that I learned in this business, um. You're not gonna be friends with everybody. Some people are gonna go, some people are gonna go, but shout out to Kyle from Lego Talk. I think what he have created, he created a beautiful company. Um, whatever it is, it's just a beautiful, beautiful company. Um, and I love the, the writers over there, the beautiful black women that he given a voice to. Um, I think it's dope. His work ethic is, is a match. And for the artists that he put on his platform and give them the promotion, I just think that's awesome. So shout out to Kyle and, um, and, and keep up the good work. Uh, I think he's an incredible, incredible um, human being. Um, shout out to my radio. Uh, even if all of these people, my favorites that I love to watch don't get along, that does not take away from me um, supporting each and every one of these uh, platforms because each of them is, is, is awesome in their own light. And so give me a second while I go to the phone. I think we have one caller left and they will be holding on. 3092, calling on the air. 3092. Hello, you there? Oh, hi, can you hear me? I can hear you, go ahead. You was holding on, so go ahead. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I got caught up in the comments and I am so sorry. Yes, I love your show and I'm love a little you. nervous, so bear with me. That's okay. Um, that was that was amazing what just happened. That that call was so random. But yes. um yeah, I just want to touch base on you know, um a few things you said tonight. Um, first of all, I just wanted to start with Cardi B and Offset. I feel, you know, I used to really like their, their relationship until I started to notice little things and I realized that Cardi B, she, I believe she only got pregnant after that one IG girl slept with Offset and was pretending to be pregnant. I, I can't remember, I think her name was like Selena Powell or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, she coincidentally got pregnant right after that and I believe it was only because she thought Offset had another baby on the way. I believe that her attitude and how she takes things to the extreme, like when she went to the club and, and had that girl beat up and started facing all those charges, how she is constantly just involved in so much drama. It seems like Offset's way more chill, way more calm. Um, I think he can't really deal with her. And I feel like that she knew that he was probably going to file for divorce or maybe he was trying to make her out with your voice because it, it does look bad when the guy has been caught up in infidelity and then he fell so maybe he felt trapped in a sense but yeah i just feel like that whatever the reason um if it, the whole situation i don't think was ever even based on love and she definitely gets what she what she had coming to her i mean i don't wish that on anybody i don't wish divorce on anybody especially since the kid was already involved i definitely think that's messed up that part of it but just speaking on it in general, I think she just she's probably gonna make better music now, and I hope that they both go on to be great co-parents. And if they're gonna come back together, hopefully they come back together after some counseling. If not, hopefully they both find love. And then with Megan, I just want to say the guy who was her ex-boyfriend when he wrote um, that post at the very end, he specifically said this. Which, what did he say? He said something like, me and Megan are still great friends right to this day. Now, wh whether he was talking about her or not, he did try to throw the fact that they were still friends. She could have easily just caught, into him, caught him personally and said, is this about me, yes or no? The fact she made an IG and 
I mean, I'm sorry, I do. The fact she made a lie, and then he started, you know, backtracking his story too. Like, I just feel like he, he, he was really trying to speak out about his story without shedding light on her. So he was trying to throw everybody off. But I think he genuinely was trying to speak out about something. And I think that's really messed up that she would just, you know, shut him down the way that she did or just even get on live and make such a big deal about it. Like, she can always tell her side of things. But when someone else tries to speak up, it's a problem. Like, Tory Lane, he couldn't even tell his side of the story. And then he ended up sending her, a quote, unquote, an apology text. The same thing has happened with this guy. He tries to speak up. Now he's trying to backtrack and say, that this is not even true. He didn't, I mean, you know, he, he never was even talking about Megan. Like, I think she's toxic. She's very toxic. And, you know, she needs to focus solely on her music as well and, and not so much of, you know, the relationships that she's getting involved in. And I feel like the gentleman, he should have been able to say what he needs to say. I wish someone would have made him stand by what he said and not him back tracking. But, you know, it's just how it goes. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Well, thank you, sister, for calling in. Wow, thank you. Um, shout out to my yes, thank you, sister, for calling in. Shout out to everybody that called. Thank you, shout so, out to you. Thank you. Thank you to my radio Hi. for responding to my question. Call in. She had called in and responded to Megan. Um, and, and that was an exclusive. Let me update this title real quick. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Let me uh, update the title. She didn't have to do it. And then, of course, we reached out. Um, a couple of my producers reached out to my Wiggins. He didn't respond. Um, so shout out to that. Uh, but but thank you. You know, she didn't have to call in and respond. And so she called in. She responded. She said what she said. I asked the questions. People are saying, oh, where are your loyalty? My loyalty is with my audience. If they're with my audience. Know that. It's with my people. And I'm going to ask a question. I am a blogger. I ask a question. You think I'm not going to ask her what's going on? I didn't even know um, that um, he uh, posted her receipt and blotted her name out. That's an exclusive. Why not ask? Her? I want to be a good host if I don't ask the questions. And so I'm here for it. And he could have easily come on the show and answered. But I say what I said. If you want people to honor you and give you the credit, you must first show that you can give credit to others. Because when somebody takes your stuff and don't give you credit, don't get on here crying and weeping and, and spinning a narrative. Don't do it. Because you didn't like it when on site, uh, blotted your name out. You were upset and angry by that. But don't do it when you get something from somebody else. Be that change. Have that integrity. Have that integrity. Right? Don't do that. Don't that that this that this what gets me with people. Oh, okay, I'm strong. I'll give people because I give people credit where I get it from. If I see somebody have something, okay, I give you credit. It is what it is. Right? And that's why I tell people give credit. And that's why I like um my radio because out of all of them, she gives me credit for whatever I do and how I do it, whatever is a mutual respect. And that's the business. That do I agree with everything else she does? No, does she agree with everything I does? No. But I love the fact that she gives me credit when I'm out here doing something. When Peter and I was on Michelle ATL and Page, we were having a conversation, and my radio was the first one to go on her platform and give me credit, and I respect her for that. OK, and that's why I will ask the questions. People say, well, why are you giving the viewers? He got more subscribers than me. If I'm giving to him, then, then I'm the, OK. Kudos points to that. I get viewers, too. And we're growing, too. OK, but I will always ask the questions when you come on this show. Oh, let me get this interview. Why not? You only get one chance because before that's Malago Grams. Next is going to be a Megan or a Cardi. It's going to be one of them. And I can't be scared to ask them a question. You got to ask the question. Boom. You only get one choice. She only got a certain amount of time. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And let me ask you that. And then after you get through giving your thing, this is why I stand, right? Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Okay? That's why I stand. Okay? When you give people credit, it's like people, they don't like giving other content creators credit. They don't. They they, they are blot you out, delete you out. But it's okay. When people try to stop you, Check the impressive channel. She said what she said, you know, and gave Malago Graham some credit. That's how it's going to be for me. People that poop, it's going to be other people that Wally did this and the Wally show is this and the Wally show is that, you know. <laughs> so I just think it's great. Shout out to y'all in the chat. Thank y'all. We had a great show today. This was a lit show. 
I don't know who the heck he was, but Wiley, you talk about, yes, and I talk about because he's popping. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> this is a business. <laughs> you know, I, who, this, I'm in the business of talking about people that is hot. <laughs> it is what it is. You talk about hot folks. You only hear because we talk about hot topics. <laughs> Thank God you're being talked about. It is people wish they could get Wiley to talk about it, but you ain't doing that in, 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 uh, of course. <laughs> of course, why not? <laughs> uh, and, 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 you know, and so we're going to talk about it. You get 90,000 people to follow you, you think I'm not going to talk about you? You must be stuck on something. <laughs> of course, I'm going to sit and talk about it. Thank you. Another great show. Peace unto you. If you all missed it, go back and you, you can never satisfy everybody. But thank you to the 400 plus odd million that came through today. It was good with your crab. You don't have to worry about nobody else, baby. You ain't got to worry about it, but you will put respect. And if they don't put respect on it, then what you do, you come out there and you say, hey, look what you're doing. They're like, right. <laughs> and thank you to the Wiley Show. We got the exclusive again. <laughs> We always get exclusives. <laughs> I told you people going to come on the Wally Show. They love this show because, you know, you get your point across. They always let you speak as long as you ask the questions. Uh, and so it was dope. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm reading the comments. So it's, it's great. And the producers sell, and, 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 and the producers make, do a great job keeping this show moving well. Thank you to all the producers. Okay. This is the Wiley Show. And if you don't know what show it is, I don't know what you're watching because it's only one show like this on the internet that looks like me, talks like me, makes you laugh. And shout out to everybody that have games today. Uh, shout out to y'all. Y'all made me feel very, 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 very happy giving today. Okay. Thank you. That's right. Bringing you the best in politics and celebrity gossip. <laughs> this is the Wally Show. Let me listen to that, okay? <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. What? All right. Thank y'all so very much. We got more and more things that's going to come. Thank you, and we will see y'all later. Wow, this is a two-hour show. <laughs> wow, I'm going to have to do some chopping up today because I know y'all are going to watch the, uh, for the other folks. Thank y'all. Peace. Uh, where is the close now?